Arlington, Texas here at AT&T Stadium where the Washington Redskins just took on the Dallas Cowboys and they had one mission and one mission only after they beat the Green Bay Packers back there in FedEx Field in Washington. They wanted to come down here and defeat the Dallas Cowboys, the number one team in football right now, and unfortunately, they came up unsuccessful. They lost this game to a score of 31-26, and most of the time, the game wasn't really close. Let's take a look at Kirk Cousins, because the, regardless of the outcome of this game, Kirk Cousins had a great game. Let's look at his stats right now. 41 for 53, he completed 41 of his passes out of 53 attempts for 449 yards, and he did have three touchdowns with absolutely no interceptions. So back to me here in North Texas, how did they lose this game throwing that well? Well, one thing that they did do, and this is something that Jason Garrett did mention, he said anytime you have your opponent passing over 53 times, you're in pretty good shape. And that's exactly what they did. They completely shut down the running game for the Washington Redskins. In addition to that, the Washington Redskins got down into the end zone more than three or four times and they could not score. It was one point where they only had six points after going to the red zone four times. When you look at the score, 31-26, that is how they lost this game. And post game, Daz Bryant, of course, had a lot to say with Josh Norman and my colleague Ashley Bay is going to have that on a Cowboys side but again unfortunately for Washington uh, what a long road trip they have coming up Fox Sports 1340 we will be live out in Phoenix Arizona coming up next Sunday as the uh, Washington Redskins are getting ready to take on the Arizona Cardinals let's go across the field to Ashley Ashley tell us the Dallas Cowboys again Dak Prescott Ezekiel Elliott I mean they were amazing tell us exactly how did they come away victorious and proving the 10 and 1 again, the National Football League's best team? No, uh, I think he's just uh, uh, compared. I don't see that look unprepared. I don't say I don't see him surprised, and uh, at any time I don't see him feel I don't feel surprised for him when he's going in there uh, 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 after a turnover. Uh, he's had a bad play. So I think that has to do with uh, really his uh, uh, how, how he prepares and how he really uh, looks for details of the deal. He made a comment uh, last week when someone, one of you asked him uh, what he was thinking when we weren't moving the ball with his first two or three possessions. And he said, uh, I was thinking I've got to get the ball out quick, I'm not going quick enough, I've got to set my feet better. So he's thinking about how to do it rather than am I just having one of those arm waving bad days or is, uh, is it not my day or that. He's trying to technically make the adjustment and he's doing it. Hey Josh, thanks. 10 and 1, the Dallas Cowboys improve, man oh man. What a game by the Dallas Cowboys who came in on a mission themselves, which was to keep the ball moving, keep the wins coming, and make sure that they go into next week with the momentum that they have carried 10 weeks in this season. Dak Prescott, again, phenomenal. He was amazing. He had 187 yards on the day. He ran in a touchdown and he went 16 of 23. He made sure that he spread the ball out very well, but best to his number one receiver mr des brown who went five uh receptions for 72 yards and you know there was some trash talking you know from des to mr josh norman they had a couple of heated exchanges uh during the game and that's definitely something that we uh want to show you guys you know um, i didn't make it personal he made it personal you know i you know i was just gonna come out and do my job and that's exactly what i did dallas cowboys did not do what they usually do which was manage the time of possession Washington won that battle today, but it didn't matter because the defense was able to keep Kirk Cousins and company out of the end zone. Four red zone trips, and they did not convert any touchdowns. So the defense did a pretty good job today. Again, J.J. Wilcox, he definitely left his mark on this game, as he did last week. The Dallas Cowboys traveled to Minnesota. Minnesota is a team that they look to, you know, try to knock off. They're six and five. They did get, um, defeated today against the Detroit Lions so we're gonna see how that goes that's gonna be a very interesting matchup and as uh, we move into December a very crucial and important month for uh, the football world period we're gonna see exactly where Dallas ends up in the seating this is Ashley Baker uh, here at AT&T Stadium we're gonna toss it right back to Josh
And so again, to wrap up here in Arlington, Texas, again, the Dallas Cowboys, they improved to 10 and one, and Washington drops this game, unfortunately. But again, Washington will play out in Phoenix, Arizona, coming up next Sunday, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. And then a quick turnaround for uh, the uh, for Dallas, excuse me. They will play against the Minnesota Vikings, as mentioned already, up in Minneapolis. Fox Sports 1340 AM. We will be there live in Minneapolis and live in Phoenix, Arizona. That's for now, for Ashley Baker and Josh Vincent for Fox Sports 1340 AM. The number one source for all things Dallas Cowboys for make sure you listen to our podcast, which will debut tomorrow, the Cowboy Zone. Recording live here in Arlington, Texas for Ashley Baker and Josh Vincent, Fox Sports 1340 AM. Your number one source for all things Washington Redskins and Dallas Cowboys.